Hey everyone, SuperTal3 here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed this kind of content. Today we're gonna go with another hardware focused video as I just got in some boxes. We're gonna open these, find out what exactly is inside each one of them. We also have another big box over there because I am gonna be building my first ever desktop computer for myself. Now I helped my dad build one a very long time ago, but this is gonna be the first computer that I actually built all by myself. So let's just get into it right now. Now we got a few things in this box. First thing, a HelloFresh gift card. It's nice, $80 gift card. Really cool. We got all the packaging included. And a Corsair RM850X power supply, 850 watts, fully modular, 80 plus gold power supply. Next, we have the Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. This has 12 cores, 24 threads. It's going to be plenty enough for my workload. And next up, we have some Corsair um, thermal paste, as well as 64 gigabytes in two 32 gigabyte sticks of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM running at 3200 megahertz. And lastly, we have the Asus X570 Plus Tough Gaming Motherboard with Asus Aura Sync. And it kind of goes really well because we have our case. I can't tell you too much about our case yet. But anyway, all this is really cool. All right guys, so here we have the massive case from Lee and Lee. It's truly massive, but it's made so it can fit up to an extended ATX motherboard, which is perfect because that's exactly what I want um, in the future to build an extended ATX the Red Ripper build. But for now, we'll stick with the Ryzen 9 because that's plenty, really. So, first thing you do, unscrew these two screws up here, and then just lift off the top. It just snaps out like that. You lift off the top of this build. Lifting off the top reveals a magnetic dust filter. It's perfect for your fans. Help keep the dust from getting in there. And it allows you to easily just slide up the side panels without any screws on whatsoever. This case is completely sealed off on the front, one of the few cases that is. But should be a big deal. It's not a big deal as there's multiple channels for airflow within this particular system. Now, so the motherboard just goes right here and in this case it utilizes a dual chamber design. So we have the power supply is gonna be behind here. There's spots for radiators right here, right here, and right here you can remove these SSD drive trays and put radiators here. Um, here's all your PCI slots. If you get a special kit, you can get actually a water cooling block that goes right here. It looks really cool. You can also get a vertical GPU mount right here if you want, but that comes separate and cost extra. And so I didn't really want that as my GPU is not vertical mount worthy at all. So anyway, also there's room for a fan right here. I'm gonna be putting two fans on the bottom um, my radiator on the top and probably another fan there or a fan here Another really great feature of this case that I really enjoyed Was the ability to have four hot swappable SATA drives right here So you can just pull these out put a SATA drive in plug it back in and all as well 
I have two SATA based drives that I'm going to put in these two slots and I'll leave these two open for future expansion. So, all right, let's get to taking off this back panel right here. It just slides up, revealing two dust filters. Right? Can't have too many dust filters in the system that you don't want to get dusty. <laughs> Right here you see you have this big panel um here is where your power supply will go uh, i believe it supports an atx power supply as that's what i got so it better support that um and here's the two drive bays and everything else so i'm gonna go ahead and um get my two drives put in these drive bays once i figure out how to take them out show you guys how i put them in and then i'll get to putting everything else in the system all right guys so real quick i'm gonna show you guys how to remove these you pretty much just unscrew a screw here and a screw here. You can take it, pull it out, and include it right here. They have a box. Where's my knife at? Never mind, I don't need this knife. So you can unscrew this box. You see it has some little mounting hardware right there. Some Velcro strips to keep all your cables nice and tidy. As well as a ton of case screws, extra case screws I presume. And a few other little bitty brackets that you might need while building your system. Also, a little sticky, looks like magnet thing is here. So that might be useful. I like how they kept all the accessories kind of bundled in with the case already. So that you're not having to like have a separate box. Alright, so here we go. We have our motherboard unboxing. Here you can see just some extra cardboard. Nothing in there. And here is our huge motherboard. At least big for me because I've never done anything like this. Comes with two SATA cables, an IO shield, flat, of course. Um, we got a book, certificate of reliability from ASUS, a CD, presumably with the BIOS. We don't have a CD drive on here, but we can probably get it online. Some little, what looks to be like riser screws, some, some stickers, which I love, both stickers. Stickers are the best and a 20% off coupon for some cable mod cables. I might actually use this Depends on how much it costs So go ahead and get this out of the way And we have our motherboard right here Go ahead and slide this beauty of a motherboard out There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight a few of the primary features of this motherboard. You have a real nice heat sink right here covering all the little power deliver things that go to the CPU. Got a fan right here, a massive M.2 heat sink. So you got an M.2 slot there, PCI Express here, right here, all PCI Gen 4, just so you're aware. Got a couple little small slots. Um, got four SATA connections. You got um, spots for four sticks of RAM, which is why I got 64 gigs in two. So that I can max out the capacity of this motherboard. CMOS battery there. You have two M.2 slots on this motherboard. So you got one here and one here. Um, yeah, so that's the main features of this motherboard. As you can see, got an IO shield right there. Um, yeah, let's get to the CPU. Here we have the Zen 2 architecture AMD socket AM4. We have the Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core ryzen cpu has a couple of stickers right in there this box is pretty big so you're like what else could be in the box well amd has kindly included their wraith amd cpu cord rgb of course as any cooler should be go ahead and unbox this little cpu cord this is the default one it's actually pretty nice looking but I'm not going to be needing it for this build because I have a Corsair Liquid AIO cooler. So anyway, Ryzen 9 CPU right here. Alright, so here we have the motherboard right here. I'll turn it this way so nothing's casting shadow. Going to be taking very carefully. Oh, the Ryzen 9, the 3900X. And... It's up. Seat it down in there. 
There we go, CPU is in. Next up, we're gonna be taking my M.2 drive. We'll go ahead and do that. There we go. So our RAM's installed, our CPU is installed, and our main boot drive is installed. The only thing we have left before we stick this straight in here is to put the graphics card in. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that right now. Just go ahead and snap this in. Um, from what I've been aware, the best thing to do is to test as much as possible before you put it in the actual system. Right, to put as much as possible together it just makes things easier so there we go we got everything in now let's go ahead and put it in the system all right everybody so we're going to go ahead and put this in then i'll get back to you guys once i have everything wired up and put in properly okay everyone so i'm here i've um, got everything put together neatly this is the second day of me working on this because i went somewhere in between but anyway, we're going to do a quick power test before we seal everything up, bring it upstairs where all my gear is, and set it up there, and do an actual boot test, install windows, etc. So real quick, turn this on. As you can see, we got some lights going on right there. It looks really cool. Now I hit the power button. Ooh, nice. So all the fans, the RAM, the cooler seems to be working. I'll just let it sit there for a minute. See what happens. It's actually not too loud. Okay, good. So I got all the fans blowing in the right direction. That's good. Cool beans. So anyway, we got the looks like we got the system working. I'm gonna put everything back together on it and take it upstairs and I'll see you when I get there. guys so that's it for today's video um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already uh, I'm really happy with this PC that I built as you can see there's a new a different graphics card than the one I put in in the video and that's because I my buddy at work had a graphics card um, Asus Strix 1060 6 gigabyte overclockable graphics card he sold it to me for a hundred bucks really great deal so I got that and I put it in and now I can actually game on this. It runs Battlefield 5 on max settings just without ray tracing um, at like 60 FP 54 FPS average, which is plenty good for me. I was used to playing it at like 30 FPS. But anyways, um, I really love this computer and I'm really happy that I built it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll be releasing another video. Next Friday, I'm starting to stick to a weekly schedule of releasing a video every Friday. 
Thank you for watching. This is Super Tau 3 signing out.